Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rechak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to you. I came out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Um, we're living in <clears throat> very, very exciting times. Very, very exciting times. So, you know, there's always something to do, there's always a lesson to do, there's always things to do. Um, so, fight, you know fight to keep uh, pushing this word out um as you can see here as you should already know the svb the silicon valley uh bank has um basically collapsed in 48 hours you know it was instantaneous and this is how the collapse of of babylon is gonna be right coming closer to the end Things are going to start happening fast. Things are going to start falling apart fast because this is what the elites want. And one of the main things they want to do is they want to get rid of the uh, banking system, you know, to come in with a new banking system. All right. It's really a transition. OK. And uh, we already know what they're trying to implement at the end of the day when all is said and done. As Aaron Russo said, the goal is to have everyone see hipped. That's the goal. So. They have to um, destroy this system and come up with a new system and a new currency. Now, I'm going to read the, uh, the title of this video. It says, how does a bank collapse in 48 hours? Here's what we know about SVB downfall and what and what might come. So I'm going to play this video largest bank failure in American history and federal banking regulators tonight working around the clock to ensure customers of Silicon Valley Bank can at least get access Monday to the maximum quarter million dollars of their deposits insured by the FDIC. The bank popular with tech startups and the venture capitalists who invest in them. I hope we get most of it back but yeah it's definitely a concern. I'm pretty concerned on a level from one to ten I would say it's seven. So we're not 17. Long lines forming at branches across the country with customers scrambling to access their money. Startup CEO Stefan Kalb worried it will take months to get the company's funds, forcing it to either go into debt or shut down altogether. Unless someone comes in and is able to support Silicon Valley Bank through an acquisition, through other means, um, a lot of us are going to be in a very painful situation very, very quickly. And as you can see, it's a lot of Edomites. That's catching hell. You know, because those are the main people starting up these startups is Edomites and, you know, and heathen. So they're catching a lot of hell behind this, you know, and a lot of these investors, they have a lot of money. They're 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 uh, they're wealthy, but they're catching hell as well, because it's not going to matter how how rich you are. If you're not a part of that uh, elite family. OK, then really, there's no um, there's no cop blanche for you. OK, if you're not connected with the uh the elites all right just because you're a lap dog of the elites or you do you know you're like a water boy for the elite so to speak like the uh prime minister the president that doesn't give you a carte blanche necessarily either all right because esau will use you until he have no more use for you and then he'll he'll cast you away <clears throat> but anyways let's read proverbs real quick this is proverbs 11 in verse 4 it says riches profit not in the day of wrath but righteousness delivereth from death. When all these things, when everything becomes a level playing field and you have these rich people who once owned uh, corporations and, and high level businesses in the alliance for rationing, which is going to happen, um, that becomes a level playing field. But really, the elect have an advantage. What's our advantage? That we have Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai on our hand, uh, on our side. Okay. It says the righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way. But the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. Okay. The righteousness of the upright shall deliver them. But the transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. See that? So it's going to break down to how you've lived. What, how has been, how have you lived according to Yahweh Shem Yahweh How have you lived according to the Heavenly Father and the Son? Have you been living a righteous life? Or have you been living a wicked life? Now, how do you find out if you're living a righteous or wicked life? You would have to come to the prophets. The pro Listen, we're set up to tell you, <clears throat> tell you what's right and what's wrong according to the Heavenly Father. 
okay? This is Isaiah 33 and 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So what's going to keep us stable? This wisdom and knowledge. The faith in the Heavenly Father. Okay? The fear of the Heavenly Father. That's why it says the fear, fear of the Lord is what? The beginning of wisdom. These people... Uh, these Edomites don't fear the Lord. These Jakes that are in the world, they don't fear the Lord. They do, they're doing what they got to do to get by. They believe the amount of money they have in a bank is what secures them. It's what makes them safe. No, 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 no. You're about to find out real soon that that money is is uh, equivalent to toilet paper when it comes to security, man. And I made a lesson <clears throat> a few months ago or a couple months ago about telling brothers and sisters to, to make sure they don't have most of their money in the bank make sure they take out most of their money out of these out of these banks and i hope they don't clip my, my video for saying that again now but that's what you should you should only have a certain percentage of there in the bank man to pay bills and, and things of that nature you know what i'm saying have enough that you know that because you know the bills automatically come out of the bank account sure keep a certain amount in there but when it comes to constantly uh t to have and putting all your bread in there that's not a that's not a wise idea in these times man okay it's not a wise idea in these times you know it says behold their valiant ones shall cry without the ambassadors of peace shall weep bitterly okay yeah there's going to be a lot of mourning a lot of a lot of uh crying the scriptures speak about how the um they shall not drink wine with a song you know Straw of drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. They're going to be drinking it based out of pain, based, based out of hurt. They're not going to be drinking it based out of um, uh, joy and mirth and, and, and playing music. No, they're going to be drinking it, trying to es completely uh, escape reality, you know, because the reality is going to be way too painful. Now, this is um, <clears throat> let's get back to the um, let's get back to the video back to the video actually before i get that i want to get isaiah 65 you know because this is how we're going to be delivered this is what this is our security our security is is the heavenly father and his son you know whom we have faith in that he is uh that he is uh faithful to um to do what he said he's going to do and not to forget our works and labor 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 of love even in, in his wrath this is isaiah 65 and 11 it says but ye are the they that forsake the lord Okay, all you people in the world that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Therefore, will I number you to the sword and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Okay, and he said that he's going to set up four kinds, man. You got the beast to tear you got the famine you got the the, the the sword so there's many ways the lord is going to take you israelites out in this last day and you people out in general in this last in these last days that uh, are not serving him therefore thus saith the lord power behold my servant shall eat but ye shall be hungry behold my servant shall drink but ye shall be thirsty behold my servant shall rejoice but ye shall be ashamed. Let's say if there's a situation where we can't get any rationing or whatever, the Lord is going to provide for us. Why? Because he said that his servant shall eat. And we're going to be able to eat lawful things. He's not going to provide to us a dead squirrel. He's going to provide to us lawful foods. You know, as he did with Elijah. Elijah, how was Elijah fed during the famine? I believe it was three years. It was a raven that came and fed him three times a day or two times a day rather right so he had uh, lunch and supper around the clock so hey and guess what those ravens are very very intelligent man those ravens are very intelligent they'll come in they'll, they'll trade with you <laughs> for food you know they'll bring you things that you like for food i mean them rape i mean the most highest creations is, uh, is magnificent man i mean they're highly intelligent they'll literally they understand barter system the barter system you'll give them a certain amount of food Right, and they'll come and they'll bring you different things. They might bring you uh, nickels or, p or pins or whatever, and they say, okay, you know, if you leave it there, okay, maybe he doesn't like that, you know. And then you keep giving them food, and then they'll bring you something else. 
let's say they bring you five dollars, but oh shoot, I like that. You take the five dollars, and and these and the, the Ravens will continue. You know, this, okay, let's keep bringing him these these paper money, this paper money. You know, and then we, you, we and then what you give them tastier food, and they're like, okay, they get they get they understand. They're like, okay, let's bring let's bring him more and more and more. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's wonderful, man. It's, it's wonderful. It says, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And that's going to include these so called rich men. The scriptures say, James 5 and 1, Woe to ye rich men. They are speaking about the elites, but you rich people in general that are doing well in this society, you're going to be hurt, man. You're hurt now. The ones that had their money in this SVB bank, they're hurt. Okay, you've seen them pacing outside the bank trying to open the door. Okay, they try once, they pray, and then they come back and try again. It's still locked. Because in order for them to run their their business, they need to have that 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 uh, that liquidity. They need that money. They need that bread in order to keep their business running, man. They don't just got cash reserve. They don't just got a hundred, uh, ten million dollars in the in the under their, their mattress man no they have that in the bank and if the bank collapses what happens to their money you see you see how quick you see how quick think the tables can turn man the lord could turn you a person from rich to poor and from poor to rich let's go the tipping point coming this week when silicon valley bank announced it was selling assets to shore up its finances that sparked a run on the bank leading to the fdic shutting it down friday Streaming giant Roku had four hundred eighty-seven million dollars. Oh, so lock it. And there was somebody, and there was people who predicted that these this thing would happen on Friday. That these things always happen on Friday. Why? Because during the weekend, there's nothing you can do. While the bank is closed, there's nothing you can do during the weekend. Okay, so you just gotta sit back and wait. <laughs> you understand? Until Monday, it, it, if someone who just said that not rec just recently, man. I don't remember if I did a video on it or another brother did a video on it, but this was recently said. This is, this is what they always do. It's always on a Friday. So you got to wait throughout the weekend until Monday to see what happens. Let's go. Cash reserves in the bank with the company's deposits <laughs> largely uninsured. But one expert says this is unlikely to cause an avalanche on the broader banking system like it did in 2008. I think the, the banking system, the broader economy are on very solid ground. I think the problems here are specific to the institution and the sector of the economy, the technology sector that is clearly struggling. The stocks of other banks that operate in the region did take a hit this week, but still they appear to be in a better financial position. As for Silicon Valley, FDIC claim agents are currently <clears throat> sifting through customer records to make sure that customers receive at least their $250,000 come Monday. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, New York. And we'll see what happens, man. And 200, you got people that are going to receive 250000 but you got people in there with, with tens of millions of dollars in there. You know, so what happens to them? You see what I'm saying? That we're gonna see, man. We're gonna see how everything plays out, man. All right, because I, I, there was an article that said that they're not uh, that they ruled out a bailout, so they're not trying to bail out this bank from from that article. Matter of fact, let me see if I could find that. <clears throat> you know, this is what happens when you have a debt-based system, man. You know, these Edomites are so greedy and wicked that they set up this debt-based system that can profit no one, man. Type in bailout for SBV. Let's see. Oh, sorry. SVB. SVB. No bailout. Look at this. No bailout for SVB. Here's what to expect. You see that? Bailout talk royals. So anyway, so they're saying there's no bailout. You know, I saw that in another article too. So there's no bailout coming to these guys. No bailout for SVB. And, and this is going to be bad. If this is, if this is a trend which I believe it will be a trend, okay? If not now, then they're just kicking the can down the road, you know what I'm saying? But I believe it, it will be a trend because this is happening in the time of what? The Passover, man. So <clears throat> that's a, that's not good for small banks. So you definitely don't want your money in a small bank, okay? Them small banks are just going to, they're going to be the first to go, those little small banks, man. You understand? 
Desjardins. You got your money in Desjardins. That's 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 not good, man. I never trusted that. That always had uh, scandals tied to it. This is uh, it says no bailout for SVB. Here's what to expect: the sudden collapse of Silicon Valley Bank last week sagged into an an anxious weekend for depositors as as startups and Wall Street fretted about the regula regulatory response to the largest bank failure since the financial crisis. Woo. They got slightly more clarity Sunday morning. There will be no federal bailout of Silicon uh, Valley Bank. Treasury Secret uh, Secretary Je Jeanette Yellen told CBS, probably an Amalekite, Face the nation, uh, face the nation Sunday morning, but even with a bailout off, uh, even with a bailout off the table, Yellen clarifies that regulators, regulators, excuse me, are working to make sure the bank's depositors don't suffer. Right, which before this bank collapsed, right, the CEO <clears throat> he was selling his bonds about three. Three point something million of his bonds, or not bonds, excuse me, his uh, his his shares in the company, and at the same time, right the day before the bank uh, collapsed, he was telling people, "Oh, everything is okay. Don't worry, everything is just fine." And then the next day, it collapsed. So you really can't trust what these people say anyway. But we'll see. It could be true, you know. But we'll see. And like I said, if it is true, they're just kicking the can down the road, and you know what I'm saying. It says we are concerned about depositors, and we're fo and there's a run there's a bank on the there's a, a bank run in other banks too, okay. The, the, there's another bank that's uh, in this area, I believe FC something, and uh, the people you see the lines from here to Kingdom come for that bank, man, right now, all right, because people are not now when you when they start to lose trust in the banks, well that's you're gonna start seeing bank runs. Okay, it says Silicon Valley Bank is a is in a unique situation among banks, having uh, catered to a niche a niche group of venture uh, capitalists and startup founders. Its deposit base was especially concentrated in one sector of the economy. So there's going to be a lot of people also who can't pay their employees, man. You know, if they don't get their bread, it says. But but young growth uh, orientated companies have struggled to get funding over the past year as the Federal Reserve rapidly raised interest rates, leaving uh, leading them to withdraw their deposits pretty rapidly. To cover those withdrawals, SVB or SIVB had to sell assets at, at loss. Wow, it's a 60% loss, which ignited a run on the bank and resulted in its federal uh, receivership further complicating matters many svb clients had deposits in excess of two hundred fifty thousand. that is insured by the federal deposit insurance corporation but they only insure up to two hundred fifty thousand. so like i said if they got tens of millions in there because they're they're setting up a big corporation or they have a big corporation <clears throat> well what happens to them while the F with while the F D I C said Friday that F V S V B clients will have access to their insured deposits, which is only two hundred fifty thousand, no later than Monday, the timing and magnitude of the recovery of insured deposits is uncertain. Right, so they, you don't know when they're going to be able to pay it out to you. They might who knows? They might give you ten thousand uh, a week. We don't know. We're going to have to see. They might give you more, but who knows what they're able to give you and how how fast they're able to give you, okay? I doubt it's just going to be pop up. It's going to be able to take out 250k like that, all right? I highly doubt it because even when you go to the bank to take out 10,000, they give you trouble. They give you trouble. Oh, they, they, you need to sign this and sign that and, and what's this about? We'll see if we're able to give you your money. Why? Because the banks don't even have as much money as they're lending out. It's, it's fractional reserve banking, meaning they only have a fraction of what they say they have in the bank, man. They'll loan you 100000 or and they only have 10000 This is That's fraud. But this is this is the way of the Edomites. This is how Esau is ruling the earth. Let's get proverb. Let's get proverb. But then he'll arrest somebody for fraud. You see, you see that? 
This is the tab. This is a, a place of, of pure hypocrisy. This is Proverbs 11 and 1. It says a false balance is abomination to the Lord. The Lord doesn't like a false balance, but a just weight is his delight. And these balances are completely false. If you're lending someone 100,000, you only have 10,000. That's false. That's that's not that doesn't add up. That can't be sustainable. That's not a sustainable system because when they want to come and get their money, when people that deposit a certain amount in there, they want to come and get their money. They can't you don't have enough to give them. And you're adding interest on top of that. So you're screwing the people while you yourself, you don't even have that much. You see what I'm saying? So this this is not righteous. The righteous way was how it was in the ancient world. You had cattle, you had gold, you had silver, and you were able to trade with that. Things that are actually tangible. Things that actually have value. Not numbers on a screen. And Esau's trying to make it even worse because he's trying to get, um, he's trying to bring in a complete digital currency, man. This man has to go. He has to go. He cannot. This man cannot continue, man. Okay. Let's get James 5. This is James 5 and verse 1. It says, go, now, go to now ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. And we see them lower level so-called rich men. Right, they're catching hell right now, and they're about to catch more hell. Like I said, they're about to be in alliance with you. Okay, I'm talking about them lower level rich people, them the millionaires and things of that nature. Okay, <clears throat> okay, even billionaires. Listen, man, if you're not a part of the club, which they might already, if they're already in the know, they'll, they'll have their little bunkers or whatever. But if you're not already in the club, Right, they, 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 the elites are not looking for you. They're not looking to help you. They're not looking to, 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 to have you evade these situations. Okay, you have to be a part of a part of the club. Okay, this is uh this is the word for rich man. It says, plusios, it says wealthy abounding in material resources. There's a lot of people that are abounding in material resources, <clears throat> right? But they're about to feel a lot of pain, okay? Which, uh, of course, the elites are at the top of the totem pole when it comes to that, all right? Metaphor abounding, abundantly supplied, all right? So that's what it is. They're abounding in resources, but that's not going to deliver them in the times to come. It says your riches are corrupted. You're right. The money you have is corrupted, okay? And, the, and your garments are moth-eaten. Okay, your gold and silver is cankered. Let's look up this word cankered. Cankered, it says to rust. Gold and silver are not supposed to rust. Okay, why is it rusting? Because it's not real gold. It's not real silver. It's an unbalanced weight. All right, it's false. That's what this money system is. It's a false, it's a, it's a, it's a scam. This is a big scam. Your gold and, and uh, what was it? FDR was the first one who uh, who who set up to, to take away your gold and silver, and then Nixon sealed the deal, man. All right, now this money is not backed by anything. It's not. It's, it's not. It's just paper. It's fiat. It's based upon faith. Okay. It says your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. And shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasures, treasure together for the last day. And there's a scripture that says that, you know, the wicked, it gathers substance, but they, they shall, it shall be given to the righteous, roughly paraphrasing. So it doesn't matter if they have bunkers, if they have this and that and pantries. And listen, man, the elect is going gonna, is gonna to get that. Okay. It says, behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, right? Because a lot of these, these big CEOs, right, they're robbing the people. They're robbing the, the, the average worker, you know? They're all about gain, 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 and, and they're willing to, to screw the little man to, 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 to keep their profits high, right? So all of that is going to be a witness against them. And the scriptures speak about the all the hands of the wicked, which it really the word is supposed to be labor. All the hands of labor shall be upon them because the average working class person is going to be looking for these upper 
these higher people in society, man. Okay? They're not going to have access to the Rothschilds and things of that nature, but they're going to be looking for them. But they're going to have access to these prime ministers, these CEOs and things of that nature, though. All right? It says, Behold, the higher of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, your workers, which is of you kept back by fraud, right? And guess what? You're, you're, the wages are kept back by fraud, <laughs> okay? Every, listen, man, the scriptures say that your man is supposed to be paid that day. The, 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 the day that he works, he's supposed to be paid for that that day. No, we got two weeks. Holding your money for two weeks. You got bills to pay. Now we're holding it for two weeks. Mm-hmm. Okay, and wait till they can't get their money. You think they're going to come out of their own pockets to give these, these employees their money? Absolutely not. Even if they can afford it, they're not doing that. They're not doing that. Okay? The mass majority of them are not doing that. It says, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth, which is the Lord of armies. Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth. And been wanton, ye have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter. Ye have condemned and killed the just, and he doth not resist you. And the scriptures also say that when when a man holds back, the, a man that defrauds his neighbor of his wages, slave him. You know. So hey, man, listen, man. There's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be in a bad situation, including these upper echelon people, and then these elites are gonna also be in, in terror and in fear. You know, that's pretty much it on that. Um, let's see what this guy says. I didn't, hey. I didn't proof listen to oh, there, <laughs> this guy. Hey, are you looking to 10 X your real estate investing with apartments in 2023? My name's Grant Cardone. I have over $4 billion worth of assets under management, 25,000 apartments. I'm going to share with you while I'm in town in Toronto. And that, and that guy's a jake this video grant could cardone, be the most grant important Car video that a, you a, watch in so like it. grant cardone is a jake just for the record man okay finance this year because a potential 2008 is brewing and it just started let's just put it this way there's a bank called silicon valley bank that is now having trouble helping you withdraw your money that's because they're suffering from what's known as a bank run Everybody's trying to get their money out of small banks, and you should too. I'm not trying to cause panic. I'm trying to prevent you from losing access to your capital. Be very careful because there are dirty things happening on balance sheets, and you already have panicked investors like Bill Ackman begging the government to bail out the banks that are not letting people get their money out of the banks right now. That's scary because the banks have already squandered that money. There's a reason why Silicon Valley Bank dropped 45% in one day, and even though the stock is suspended right now, is likely to end today down another 50%. This is despite the fact that people like Jim Cramer told us everything is fine at Silicon Valley Bank. This company's a merchant bank with a deposit base that Wall Street had been stakely concerned about. SUB is the old Silicon Valley Bank. Recently bought one of our favorite research firms, Buffett Nathanson, and it's become less dependent upon private equity and venture capital as offerings. Wait a second. Those dried up last year, they could come back. Yes, some of them come back here with the stock directly affects an oversold position. Stock was the fourth worst performer in 2022. I think the fears were not justified. And it's a very compelling situation. Yes, that was Jim Cramer literally talking about this bank that's now trading for under $100 a share back when it was $300 saying, Wall Street is wrong to think that this bank is in distress. Yet now the bond market is starting to price in that this bank could go bankrupt. Then again, Jim Cramer's track record isn't that great. Here he is talking about Bear Stearns back before the company went bankrupt. Look at what it was trading for when Jim Cramer was pitching it. <laughs> okay, Peter writes, should I be worried about Bear Stearns in terms of liquidity and get my money out of there? No, no, no. Bear Stearns is fine. Do not take your money out. This is real. Look, if there's one takeaway other than a plus 400 somebody, Bear Stearns is not in trouble. I mean, if anything, they're more likely to be taken over. Don't move your money from Bear. That's just being silly. Don't be silly. Okay, just so you get a. And a lot of these people <clears throat> are paid off, you know, to, to say what they're supposed to be, um, to, to, to say certain things, you know. Really, all these mainstream medias, they all, they're all, um, bought and paid for you know what i'm saying so you can't trust what they have to say you have to do your own research 
you know, use your own head, okay? Because they're like when you listen to them side by side, all these news reporters, it all sounds like they're reading from the same script. That's not by accident. This is not a, a natural, natural news. All right, it's it's a script that they they have to read from, and if they don't read from the script that they want them to read from, they'll fire them. If they start to use their own brain and, and draw their own conclusions using common sense, they'll fire them. Okay. So you trusting in a guy like that to, to break down the, the financial, uh, to give you financial advice on certain things is, is not wise, man. Okay. A sense of what's causing the agony by this point. I know you've been talking about it. It's financials led by Bear Stearns after what essentially is a bailout from the Fed. Bear Stearns shares are down 90% this morning, and it's not just Bear. Pretty much every single bank is plunging in early trade this morning. Lehman, which is very similar to Bear and its reliance on fixed income, is down nearly 30%. You have big names like Goldman Sachs down 8%, Citigroup down 8%. So it is pain across the board. Anyways, so <clears throat> you see what's happening, man, and um, I believe this will be a trend, and there's no coincidence that this is happening on the Sabbath, so things is getting ready to, to get shaken up, all right, a lot of people are going to lose money, and, and, and uh, they're going to be in a very bad situation, and there's going to be uproars of the people, man, so with that, Lord's willing, this was edifying to the elect, I'll say Shalom.